dank. That's a very, very broad question, sir. Are we talking about beer? <laughs> so if you're going by like Webster's definition, which is like a cold, moist place or something like that, then yeah, obviously dank doesn't sound very appealing. <laughs> well, the uh, the origins of the word, as far as I know, come from the um, from the cannabis community. Oh yeah, dank, sure. I mean, this is not from personal experience, but just from what I've heard, that if you have some really good pot, it would be described as dank. There's a slang term, dank, as in meaning good, uh, and then there's danky as a, uh, a profile. When we use it in the beer community, it is much more talking about uh, the sort of flavors and aromas that you get from uh, cannabis. It just smells like pot, really. My interpretation of the word. We can kind of target certain varieties of hops that make the beer kind of dank. You know, it smells like a glass of marijuana or something. That word is affectionately used for very strong, sticky, powerful smelling marijuana. <laughs> so I think it was probably just a natural crossover that a beer that's heavily hopped um, could be described as dank. Uh, hops and cannabis are cousins. So there are a lot of similarities in the flavors between the two. They share most of the same terpenes and a lot of the same oils. And so you can actually create a beer with um, certain types of hops. I mean, Columbus being the most, um, most popular and uh, used in this uh, respect of creating the beer that when you first smell it, it uh, gives you a reminder of um, the aroma of uh, walking into a room with uh, where someone's smoking marijuana. You see a lot of dank character, especially in uh, West Coast IPAs. If you think about like mango, it's kind of got a little bit of like a turpentine aroma that is, you know, kind of dank. So, you know, I think the word is, is descriptive in a way that might put some people off, but if you know what you're talking about, it's usually good.